Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Escape from Monkey Island for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off, here in the Scum Bar on Melee Island. About to continue trying to get these um, pretzels so that we can go and stop the guy from blowing up our house with the big uh, slingshot thing. Uh, but first, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. Okay, here we go then. Um, so what we want to do is, I think if I remember right, we have to pop this balloon. It says, happy birthday. Uh, no. So I think, if memory serves, we have to get those guys to show off their dart skills, and I say that with inverted commas, um, and get them to try and pop the balloon. <laughs> Ahoy again, mateys! Excuse me. Yeah, you guys. Um, I bet you can't hit another one on the first shot. I bet you can't hit another one on the first shot. Name it and all these. Yeah, we'll see about that. Um, there you go. I bet you can't hit that balloon over there. I bet you can't hit that balloon over there. Ha! That's easy. Prove it then. Go on then, if you're so good. Ah! And he did. <laughs> Oops. Wow. That's pretty good. That was a pretty good shot, actually. Um, okay. Why are you playing insult dart throwing anyway? Why aren't you playing insult dart throwing? The official Tri Island Dart Throwing Semi Professional League rulebook clearly states all dart competitions must be won by dart throwing skill, not by any other means such as bribery, insults, threats, or otherwise. Makes sense, I suppose. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll be shoving off now. Well, I guess I'll be shoving off now. Are you still here? Yeah, I am. Drop the sarky attitude, man. Okay, so this guy now is. Um, well, I feel a bit sorry for him, but he's completely out of it now. Hey, how's the weather down there? There you go. So we should now be able to just pick up this bowl of pretzels. I guess he won't be needing these anymore. Yoink! Um, God, how do you put it away? Let's look at our invent. Oh, that is literally all we've got. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty much the same as the invent on Grim Fandango, where you can just... Hey! Get out of the way! <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> Where you can just, um... God, go out the door, guy, brush. Come on. Uh, where you can just sort of rotate your items and things like that and see them all physically in that sense. So, let us get back then. Let's head back to... There we go. <laughs> it takes a while to get him sprinting, but we got there. Let's get back to the mansion. And then we'll distract the old demolition guy with some nice, tasty kudu jerky pretzels. And that should stop him trying to kill our house. Well, not kill it, blow it up. Okay, so let's um, head over to him. We're not going to jump off the cliff again. We did that before. Hmm. Let's try 49, 7.3. Like Two. Hey, get away from there before I pop you one in the head, capiche? All right, okay. I was just going to give you a pretzel. Good. Now stay over there, pencil neck. You call him pencil neck, mate. Right, here we go. Fire! Let's... Hey there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a sec. That's a pretty rubbish shot, man. Here, I brought you some kudu jerky pretzels. Really? Thanks. I really appreciate this. You're no welcome. You know, you could thank me by not chucking big old boulders at my house. I could, but I won't. Now leave me alone for a minute while I eat these. Jerk. Oh, ungrateful. Okay, so now what we want to do is, um, while he's distracted, we want to tinker with the catapult controls to mess it all up. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. You totally messed up my catapult. What you trying to do to me? You're killing me I didn't over realize. here. Well, guess I'm gonna have to start over at my calibration. Oh, yeah, we have to do the cactus here. thing. Get out of my way. Oh, I forgot about that. I hope this works. This isn't going to work because I haven't done the cactus thing yet. Because what he does is, he, well, you'll see. Recalibrated that a cactus. Let's try it. So basically, he's going to aim at the cactus to get sort of the recalibration going. I always wondered, sort of, why he's able to program in the cactus. Fire! There we go. I like the little cloud that popped up. So, I always wondered when I was younger, like, why can he manage to get it right at the cactus by putting in the 
like the little numbers, but he can never seem to actually hit what an odd anything else. <laughs> like the house, the massive house. Um, I'm sure there was something over here that we had to pick up. Or was it? Maybe it wasn't over here. Maybe... Hmm. Hmm. I'm sure there was Let's something over here. Maybe not. Maybe we had to get the item we need somewhere else. I don't think we can go to the mansion. No way. I don't want to be inside if that guy actually gets lucky and hits the house. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, unless it was over this way. There is an item we need. Um, okay, it must be somewhere else. Hmm. I've already forgotten how to do one of the puzzles. Brilliant. <laughs> It has been a while though, guys, so bear with me. Um, oh, how did we get to the map again? Was it O or something? Yeah, it was. There we go. Um, is that a mansion up there? I don't know. Let's go this way. Go to the harbour. Ah, there it is. That's the item we need. Um, so this is the harbour mistress, the one that we ship for sale. could see the painting of in the scum bar. Um, that's what we want. Pop it in a tube. Haha. <laughs> Let's put that away. Okay. Um It's empty. I can't use this. I'm not picking that up. Uh the grog machine. I sure could go for a nice refreshing grog right now. I can't remember if um this is the same grog machine we fell into in Monkey I in the secret of Monkey Island. It could well be. I'm Guybrush Mark three <laughs> And I need a ship. How nice for you. And just what do you want me to do about it? Well you're the harbor mistress. Are you the harbor master? No, I am the harbor mistress. Okay, My full sorry. title is Chief Assistant Shipyard Regulator, Harbor Operations, Melee Island, a division of Inter Island Transportation Services. That's which a bit means, of a mouthful. Which means I'm in charge of ship allocations on Melee Island. Okay, you can be in charge of my ships any day of the week. Baby, you can be in charge of my ships any day of the week. <laughs> what? Are you trying to seduce a government employee? Uh, no. So, uh, you're in charge of the ships. Nice try, Guy Rush. Um, I'm commandeering a vessel. I'm commandeering a vessel. Not so fast, mister. No boat leaves this harbor without my permission. And I see no reason to give you permission to take one of my boats. Uh, but Stan said I could. But Stan said I could. Name dropping won't get you a boat. <laughs> I'm married to the governor. I'm married to the governor. I heard she was dead. Well, she does have her quiet moments, but she's alive and back on melee and ready to govern. Oh, so she's just been on vacation all this time, huh? That's nice. She won't be governor for long. I'm voting for Mr. Charles. He promised me a promotion. Who the hell is Mr. Charles? Anyway, come on, just give me a boat. Come on, just give me a boat. The rules prohibit the shipyard regulator, that would be me, from lending a boat to anyone who does not have proper authority. That would be you. Right, okay. What would it take to get you to look the other way? What would it take to get you to look the other way? I really hope that you aren't trying to bribe an employee of the Melee no, Island government. why would I do that? Not that I care what happens to you, but I really don't want to fill out the paperwork. <laughs> okay, uh, isn't there some sort of loophole? Isn't there some sort of loophole? Nope, it's simple. Prove to me that you have the authority to requisition a ship and I will follow procedure to supply one. Okay, we're obviously going to have to use a lame for that. Uh, come on, just this once. For me. Come on, just this once. For me! Not for you or anyone. <sighs> Rules were meant to be followed. Just prove to me that you have the authority to requisition a ship and I will follow procedure to supply one. God, she's such a killjoy. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Now that I can do. <laughs> okay, um, say, haven't I seen you somewhere? Say, haven't I seen you somewhere before? But I, I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know, yeah, at we the do. scum bar. You're the naked girl in the painting. I am not. Yes, Besides, you are. I haven't taken my clothes off in years. <laughs> okay, who painted you? Who painted you? He was an awful man. He was good, but he wouldn't take his claws off me. Strange, too. He had a bizarre fascination with wax. <laughs> this meat hook. Okay, you could lose your job if anyone found out that you posed for that picture. You could lose your job if anyone found out that you posed for that picture. How do you think I got my last promotion? <laughs> I'd rather not <laughs> think about it. <laughs> Disturbing. What's your name? What's your name? Why? Well, I'd like to know the names of the people I've seen naked. <laughs> I wasn't naked. I was artistically posed. If you say so. Um. Okay. Um. Kind of snooty for a glorified barnacle watcher, aren't you? <laughs> kind of snooty for a glorified barnacle watcher, aren't you? You're just jealous of my cushy government job. No, I'm it not. Would I'm be a even better if I didn't have to put up with the likes of you. If you say so. Anyway, all this red tape's giving me a headache. All this red tape is giving me a headache. Don't say I didn't give you anything. 
Yeah, a hard time. That's about it. So, let's head back then, now that we've got the inner tube. I forgot that we needed that inner tube thing. Oh, come on, Guybrush, run. There we go. <laughs> Take so long. Is that the mansion up there? I think it might be. This, um... Yeah, it is. Okay, so we can get there from the map, actually. That's a lot easier. Um, so let's head over here. If you um watched a couple of episodes ago, in the first hmm. episode, I was talking about how the first time I played this, I played it on um, my grandpa's PC, and it wasn't built for games, so the textures didn't load in. Um, and I actually thought the reason for that was um, that it was part of the game. <laughs> so I could never figure out, figure out why I couldn't find all the items. As useful as a like two-pronged cactus would be, I'd rather not stick one in my pants. Um, so basically everyone was wearing like white clothes and the layers wouldn't load in and things like that. And I just assumed that because it was called Act 1, things to do on Melee Island when you're dead. Not a bad piece of modern art if I do say so myself. And it also, um, everyone assumed that Elaine was dead when she got back to the island. I thought that we were dressed as ghosts and that was why everyone thought we were dead. <laughs> I mean, I was only a kid at the time, but that was my hey, kind of get away bizarre from logic before I bug you one in the head, for the um, layers not loading in properly when I was God. a kid. So, now stay over there, pencil neck. There 45. All right, let's give him another press. Seven point three minus fourteen. Hey there. Want some more kudu jerky pretzels? Sure. Wow, remind me to thank you later. Well, you could save time and thank me now by not knocking down my house with your massive balls of rock. <laughs> Sorry, kid. No can do. Now let me eat this in peace. He's rude, this guy, isn't he? He's very rude. Oh, ungrateful. Well, let's see how rude he is when we mess up his controls and he has to go back to shooting at the cactus again. Now that we've put the um, popped inner hey, tube on there. what do you think you're doing? Nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. You totally messed up my catapult. I did. To Go back to shooting you're the cactus, man. Over here. Well, guess I'm gonna have to start over at my calibration cactus over there. <laughs> Get out of my way. I hope this works. Also, I've, um, I've got a bit of a cough at the moment, so if you hear me coughing or there. I'm speaking a little Treat bit quietly, then I'm sorry about Let's that. Try it. Um, yeah, Fire! just a bit, a bit of a bad thing. <laughs> well, that um <laughs> You were saying what was that about ha? Huh? Believe you did that. Yeah, I did it. Better Do believe you have it. any idea what those things cost? They don't grow on trees, you know. <laughs> Yep, it's wood, mate. It does burn trees. Guess what? I'm still dead. But don't worry. I'll love you even after rigor mortis sets in. <laughs> We've been gone so long they didn't think I was coming back. So those numb skulls at City Hall declared me dead at sea. What about me? Did they say anything about me? No. <laughs> then they decided to sell all my belongings and destroy the mansion. That's terrible. Did they sell any of my stuff? <laughs> and then the worst part is, they've ordered a new election for the office of governor. Hmm, maybe I should run. Yeah. So far, there's only one candidate. And, you know, the old slogan. If there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. Here he Who comes. The name, Mr. Threepwood, is Charles L. Charles. But you can call me the next governor of Melee Island. If you say you so. You can't be the governor. I'm the governor. And it's a lifetime term. Well, that's the rub, isn't it? You've been declared dead. So I've heard. How did that happen? Who can say? Uh, perhaps if you'd spent a little more time governing and less well. time gallivanting all over the Tri Island area with your pet monkey, the good citizens <laughs> of Melee wouldn't have come to the mistaken conclusion that you were pushing up the petunias. Wait a second. Was I the pet monkey in that last <laughs> He's so okay, slow. Okay, we get it. You're running for governor. But why destroy my mansion? Yeah, what's the big oh, deal, man? That. When you died, the mansion became the property of the state. As a favor to me, the future governor of Melee Island, the town elders contracted a demolition firm. Mm. That's me. To destroy this <laughs> outdated bourgeois symbol of the elitist piratocracy. But why? Because the days of pirate princesses ruling from secluded mansions are over, my friend. They but are. Why? Indeed they are, lad. If the Melee Island of tomorrow is to prosper, it must be governed by a man of the people. A man unafraid to mingle with the common folk. 
A man who won't hide in a mansion guarded by vicious piranha poodles. <laughs> That's a, a reference like to Secret of Monkey Island, by the way. He makes a lot of sense, Elaine. I never did like those poodles. It's true. <sighs> Guy brush. Well, I've got to get to kiss past those, didn't it? to shake. Ta. See you later. Something really? very fishy I about that like guy. A rotting corpse. I've got another huh. I, I wonder why he smelled like that. Uh, guy brush. Uh, yes, dear? I'm going back to City Hall to run against Charles. Woohoo! How can I help? Go to Luku Island to talk to the family lawyers. Mm -hmm. But why? They destroyed the catapult. Yes, dearest, I know. But with that demolition order hanging over the mansion, another catapult could come at any moment. Okay. We need the kind of restraining order that only my family lawyers can provide. But I want to come up with clever campaign slogans and do ops research. <laughs> brush, love of my life, I'm a politician. Let me do what I do best. I'll let you do what you do best. What's that? Sailing around the Tri-Island area on seemingly pointless errands. <laughs> what? Did I say that out loud? What I meant to say oh, was... Oh, dear. Venturing into troubled waters waters on dangerous quests well okay then that's more like it okay i'm off to start my campaign don't spend too much time on lucre island dearest okay so we already got mr cheese on board he's our navigator but we still need to get carla and otis to join our crew don't we so to do that we've actually got to um get them cushy government jobs if you remember and there's only one person on melee island who can do that and that is Elaine herself. So let's go into the mansion. Oh, look, here we go. Here's the nostalgia from Secret of Monkey Island. Don't own many coats in these tropical climes. Oh, we can't go in there now. What the hell is all this over here? I don't remember this. Apparently nothing. Grandfather this clock. clock. Appears to be stuck at six ten. The pendulum isn't moving either. <gasps> Maybe we're stuck in some kind of temporal anomaly where time stands still forever! <laughs> or maybe the clock hasn't been wound in three months. That could work too. Yeah, it could be that. Probably is that, right? I'll wind this clock after I've stopped whatever evil's afoot. Okay. Makes sense, I guess. Um, let's look at this chess set. I love chess. Especially the horsies. <laughs> I've got no time for easily mastered games like chess. Easily mastered, yeah. Okay. Groovy banner. For some reason, it makes me want to ride a hog. <laughs> okay, that's interesting so the mansion's a bit different to how it used to look i've always wondered what was behind the mansion now i know <laughs> okay oh government papers i think that might be what we need. i like this kind of commode better than the one in the bathroom the one made of uh, porcelain oh the porcelain thing again <laughs> nah most of this stuff is elaine's i wouldn't want to deprive her of her favorite trinkets okay do we need the government paper it's a government paper of some I sort i think we do don't we I think that's what we get her to sign, if I remember right. So they can get... Oh, it's fine china. Look, more porcelain. Elaine really loves these plates for some reason. Uh, don't even think about touching the china guy brush. Oh, Who's sorry. Uh, I'm not touching it. No, sir, not me. I guess there's been some incidents of smashing the china going on. <laughs> so, you know. Uh, oh. The header says, Melee Government Employment Contract. Maybe that's what we need, actually. Yeah, I'll just take that, Elaine. Thank you. <laughs> Even though you were just signing it, um, it's mine now. What's this up here? There's a plant here as well. Look. Wow, this plant is really resilient. <laughs> we haven't watered it since we left. Yeah. Hey, it's Elaine as a little kid with Grandpa Marley. Grandpa oh, Marley. Dude. Don't make me get out your baby pictures. But honey, you don't have any of my baby pictures. No, but I have some of you crying after you got smacked in the head. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Uh, it's the kitchen door. Can we go in here? I don't really remember the mansion, to be honest, on this game. It's the door to the kitchen. I would, but for some reason Elaine has locked it up. Oh, okay. That's a bit odd. What is Elaine actually signing over there since I took the papers off her? The bedroom door. Let's go in there. It's the door to our bedroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is no time to sleep. Okay, is there anything down this way? No, it's not. And that way. Okay, so... Let's have a look at the things we picked up. So we got a government paper. The header says Melee Government Employment Contract. Cushy edition. Oh yeah, so there we go. We've got the cushy edition. And then we've got the normal one, which I think is the non-cushy one, if I remember right. The header says Melee Government Employment Contract. 
There we go. So what we've got to do is we've got to give Elaine the cushy Dearest, government job. I thought we agreed that you wouldn't be spreading your messy inventory over our nice clean floor. <laughs> uh, sorry, honey. This will only take a moment. Oh, dear. Okay. Right, let's take this. We'll get Elaine to sign it. There we go. Give it to Elaine. What's this for? I needed to convince reluctant rap scallions to join my crew. Darling, can't you just use your blinding charisma to cajole them into joining? It didn't work this I time. I think I used up all my charisma on the honeymoon. All right, let me sign it. I can't remember if we have to get the other one signed as well. Maybe we do. I don't know. Um, let's try getting the other one signed anyway. Let me guess. Another government bribe? Yeah. I prefer the term state-sponsored incentive. When you get back from Lucre Island, we're going to have a long talk about civic ethics. Oh, maybe All we have to right, give this one to it. the harbour mistress? I can't remember off the top of my head, but we'll get it signed anyway. God, I'm loving playing this game again. It's so cool. It definitely has its flaws control-wise and stuff, but the humour and everything is still there. Hello, and I actually Governor. like the graphics. Here, Even though it hasn't aged particularly well, I'm enjoying them. Uh, what was I supposed to be doing? What was I supposed to be doing? Have you been drinking grog again? <clears throat> no. No, I swear, I just forgot. No, I swear. I just want to make sure I have the details right. Maybe a little. Is that so wrong? <laughs> Maybe a little. Is that so wrong? There's a time and a place for everything, Guybrush. Now pay attention. Now, while I concentrate on running for re-election, you're going to get yourself to Lucre Island. Oh, yeah. Once there, you will visit with the Marley family lawyers. Uh -huh. And you'll work with them to find a legal way of saving the mansion from Charles's demolition goon. Oh, Got yeah. It? Yeah, got it. <laughs> um, what was that plan again? Did you see the way I got rid of that cataclysmic catapult? Did you see the way I rid us of that cataclysmic catapult? I always knew you had it in you to destroy heavy machinery, my chaotic little pet. Thank you. Unfortunately, that's only a stopgap measure. We have to find a more permanent solution. I agree. Um, we could move away and leave this mess with someone else. We could make a public offering on the island and retire on the proceeds. We could launch a full-scale attack on City Hall. My ideas are all too half far ahead of their time to be taken seriously. We can make a public offering of the island and retire on the proceeds. You mean like Melee.com? But <laughs> stealing. <laughs> okay. My ideas um, are all too ahead of their time to be taken seriously. Let's ask Thanks about the boat. Thanks for trying to boat. help, Guybrush, but I, I think we need to stick to the current plan. I'll get right on it. Okay, um, I'm having a little trouble getting a ship. I'm having a little trouble getting a ship. What kind of trouble? Uh, I can't find one. I don't know. I haven't even tried yet. I don't have the authority to requisition one. I don't have the authority to requisition one. Can you believe that? Me! There must be a bunch of new people around here since we left. <laughs> Damn here, these new people. This. It should give you an air of authority. Oh, okay. There we go. So that's what we need. What's this doohickey? It's the official gubernatorial symbol of Melee Island. It conveys the authority of the Office of Governor. Uh, it can also okay. get the holder into some pretty great parties. <laughs> <laughs> but some pirate doesn't need some gubernatorial symbol to prove he commands respect. Yeah, what is this crap? Yes, well, all the same, I, I think you'd better take it. All right. Okay. Oh, does this mean I get to run the island now? I've got some revolutionary ideas about subsidized childcare. <laughs> Just give it back the minute you return from Lucre Island. Oh, God, I love Guybrush. Can I have some money? <laughs> Can I have some money? Why? I'm not sure, but it always seems as though I could use a few hundred pieces of aid on my adventures. That's very well, true. I'd like to help, sweetheart, but we're kind of strapped for cash right now. Besides, what happened to your monthly allowance? <laughs> monthly allowance, you know. Gambling on spitting contests on Booty Island? <laughs> well, then I'm sorry, my dear. It's time you learned an important lesson about budgeting. Oh, shucks. Oh. Okay, um, nobody wants to be on my crew. Nobody wants to be on my crew. Ask nice and don't make any ridiculous promises. Yeah, you should use that in your campaign. I'll leave the crew selection to you, my uh, dear. I might have made some ridiculous promises already, I'm Is sorry. Um, I'll let you concentrate on your campaign. I'll let you concentrate on your campaign. Thanks. So we've got this now to get the ship as well. So it's all coming together, guys. Um, but we will leave it there because we are out of time. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. Um, and hopefully next time my voice will be a bit better. So if I'm a, a bit quiet in comparison to the game this time, um, once again, I apologise. I've got this cough, but hopefully it'll be gone by the time I record the next one. So... I'll see you all next time.